brew time. Ah, delicious. Wait, Nick, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Spinning the flexi car makers. <laughs> Making sure it's all alright, ready for install. So, yeah, it looks like a good, good lamp. Yep. <laughs> Ready? Three. I'm gonna hide. Two. I'm gonna hide. Well, why are you hiding? I'm gonna hide. <laughs> Yo, welcome, Nick, Adam, Tools. I don't know why I keep doing that every time, like, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Cool. We are on a summer house slash shed slash all my GoPros sliding down. GoPro, not GoPro. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, summer house, that, do office, <laughs> rewind. <laughs> yeah. Um, what we are doing, so I run through spec wise. So, spec wise, let's bring you outside. It's, it's, they've all just changed. Six spotlights in here, in the shed bit, we're four. Double socket, bank of four double sockets, double socket, double socket. We just managed to get an outside light in there. Two, two double sockets here and a switch. So, that was a really quick run through. Simple, yep. simple. So, you're all gonna laugh, hate, cry, swear. Why is the flexicon? Why is the here? We love the flexicon, don't we, Adam? Look how much Adam loves it. See, look, it's on his face. <laughs> Adam has become one with the flexicon. Because all the inside of the sudwork here is being um, stuffed full of Salatex, which you love that stuff as well. Oh, I hate the stuff, which continuously, continuously eats me away and at the cables because builders seem to love to stuff all the cables right next to it or on it or not cut the down lights and all that sort of stuff that we've gone through in the previous videos i can't trust that they're not going to leave a gap around the cables when we put them in so the board's going to be going here and obviously we're going to have the cables going across for the sockets up for the lights so the text is all going to be stuffed into the ceiling so i'm going to put it in some containment the easiest option through here is obviously flexi conduit because Adam loves flexi conduit. I tried to convince him, but he said no, 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 no. So it's gonna give it that space, the barrier between the cable and the flexi con. It's gonna have some obviously air, some air running around it in the duct in itself. Um, so it's gonna keep the uh, heat away from the cables as much as possible. So we've got here, this is obviously the outside, which is gonna be cladded the same as the front. The armor cable that we're using is fed all the way underneath here and it comes up in here in this shed it's actually been terminated ish but that by the looks of it is a four mil three core so that's being tested this is being ripped down there's going to be a waterproof joint here that's going to be extended across into the back of a fuse board there that runs through into the garage i'll show you that bit in a bit with the there's no rcd well there is an rcd but it's an old voltage one um i'll show you in a little bit but i'm not putting an rcd on on the, the feed cable because you don't have to on supply cables then it's gonna have its own little two gang garage board in there with rcd protection to protect that stuff so we don't get any nuisance tripping and um, diversity between the two rcds if there was one so that's why there's not and yeah so we'll put up in the corner we've got most of the stuff out we spoke to the customers and uh we're going to start mapping out where the downlights are going the sockets are going to go and start running some holes fingers crossed what mr ad has done We've measured out where we want for our spotlight. So measured the full length of the room, halved it to get there. And then you can half that distance to give you the measurement, but I've always found, found? Always found if you then do it exact measurements, you end up having the spots more in the room, but there's a desk going here. So we pushed them back a bit. I think we've done 130 from there to there. We've then measured off the back 700. So 700 to here, 700 to there. I've put some screws in. Adam's got the laser out so we can get the lines cut as neatly as possible. Perfecto. <laughs> Same thing with here. So Adam's just going to go and we're going to measure out the centre of the joist as well. And we'll cut exactly through that. Same thing with here. What we're going to be doing, we had a discussion, right, before we started filming, as we got to the job, of the best way to try and run the cable over because we're going to take the power to the switch because it makes sense with the power to the switch, if anything ever goes wrong, obviously we don't want to be cutting cellar text and ceiling down at some point. It's only going to be the load side for the lights and the ceiling and no joints. With the switch there, we can then put another sort of two gang switch on for an outside light directly above it. 
then also from there we can take a power across to the switch for the shed side so that makes more sense but it's then bringing this the flexi con and the cables over safely so i think the only thing we can do is the board is going to go here to be fair the board could go there we haven't quite decided yet have we if the board goes there then i'll just draw straight up and we'll do a line across and straight down obviously i want to minimize the amount of holes i'm drilling in this joist because you know i don't want the ceiling falling down but then again it's not bearing it on top it's only sheet of wood on top so there's not a lot of weight mm. so i'm more than happy as long as we separate the holes evenly and we're not drilling them too close together or the, you know, the holes aren't bigger than the i can't remember the measurement the certain size of you measure the size of the wood and you go up in the middle in the middle but as long as the bit you're cutting out isn't a certain percentage of the thickness of the wood or yeah i've done it enough i know that 25 mil bit through that is going to be absolutely fine um famous last words <laughs> <laughs> the end of the video. Ah, Adam, where are you? <laughs> really tangled up with a flexi conduit and wood chippings. So we're going to measure that out. We're going to get the lights done first because that the sockets will be easy enough. The sockets we'll just measure out what we want because it's being boarded. The best thing we can do is you can take a supply out. I'm tempted to put the board there because we can tap off straight to that socket that's going here. Go across. There's going to be a bank affordable sockets here. But what we'll do is just bring the flexi con in, leave a loop cut it then start again and we'll just leave a bunch of cable here in radio sorry radio or... yeah it should be a radio this is it's going to be no power whatsoever make sure the builders leave this bit of sellotex out famous last words and then just take it around to here to there to there and that'll just bounce through to do two double sockets that side it's so cute also adam and i don't appreciate the gay comments that we get Constantly. I was gonna say something then, but that's no, fine, well I can bleep out the swear words, so No no no, I was gonna say something else, but I'll put this Let's comment just say it got removed already. Yes. No, it wasn't by me, because obviously if you guys type swear words I'll turn this way because the light. If you guys type swear words in any of the comments, YouTube automatically filters it and I have to accept it. And a lot of the time I forget I even have to do that because I don't go on it very often with that bit. Um but I did put this I'll put it up here. I can't. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what I'm going on. Some guy said, we are so, uh, it'll be up there. I'm trying to remember it. So it'll obviously read different to what's up here. You guys are so into each other. I bet after work, you two get in the van and. Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, Hank, <laughs> Hank, um, each other off. Brilliant. I mean, to be fair, he must have been watching to know that. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever floats your boat, if that's what gets you going and you thinking about that sort of stuff. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Don't touch my no-no square. <laughs> Don't say it again. Don't touch my no-no square. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I keep having thoughts of stuff I meant to say previously, but obviously with wiring places like this, you could easily clip direct around. It'd be seller text. It'd be absolutely fine. But we're trying to, I'm trying to install, install, install an add of that what could happen potentially if you didn't do what we're doing people could say it's over the top we don't care this is why i want to do it i think this yeah well, it's not even took 20 minutes to do this so what we've done we've got the laser up and what i've done i've put some saddle flexicon saddles up small screws so it hasn't penetrated throughout the wood obviously they're only tiny little ones but that's going to clip them in place so we can then put that through that's all laser it's the same level all the way around so we're happy with that I think we might as well get this done first because feeding the cable through That's that stuff. People have said obviously put a piece of string, piece of cloth with the hoover. That works great, but the lengths that we're going to be doing it here is not necessary whatsoever. So that's fine. We're going to get them done. I'm going to try this. Probably be, will be a longer video, the first one of all, of quite a few. Uh, so we'll sort of run through, stop every now and then, run through the sections of how we're doing it. We've got this, which I actually hate because it's just. It is a pain in the ass, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's not easy to use. Well, oh dear, oh dear. To pull that. Uh, I could have used singles, but the problem with using singles in the FlexiCon here, because we're not putting it into a box, the, the conduit will end here and here, and the twin will come out. We'll curl it up, push it up. So once we come around to cut it out later, that will come down. We've got the shallow down lights to go in, the LED ones, so that's fine. So obviously we can't use singles there because it'll be single exposed outside of the 
down like enclosure. joint. The, the enclosure. He's learning. So yeah, we'll get a few of these done and I'll pop back. I know, I've always thought if I, if I, did, if I had an extra kid mm. and I lost my office, I would have built something like this. Okay, we've got the flexi in now. I'm really happy with the finish on it. Obviously, nothing's going to be seen, but you can see how the cable's going to be protected. So it's left here where the down lights are going, there and there. Obviously, these are little screws. They're bigger screws on the joist. They're nice and level, nice and square, nice and straight. How we like it. That's right. That's been brought through. So we're going to now see if it was more difficult for us to... <laughs> Pass the cables this way. To be fair, this should be easy because it's supported for us. Yeah, we need some cables running, leave enough slack, looped around. We might, we might be able to do one continuous loop, but whether or not that benefits us or not. What I mean by that, guys, is just bring one cable all around without cutting it all the way back. Sometimes that's really helpful if yeah. you're doing a ceiling where you want a pendant still in if there's someone still working before it gets boarded. But with this, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be easy to just cut it every length and we'll do that. Right, you're on. We're on. Just it's actually feeding really well, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. A little bit. So we're leaving enough, more than enough slack to play with. There's nothing worse than short length, is there, Adam? Nope. I don't know where all these people are getting these gay jokes from. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's try another bit. Got a bit of banter. Otherwise, the day just, the lads. just drags out, doesn't it? Yeah. To be fair, though, literally, we go to work and then it's like three o'clock or four o'clock and like, oh! At home time! Yeah, where, where's that time gone? It's true, though, isn't it? Yeah. That time yeah, when yeah. we first started working with me, and we would graft throughout the day, but it was a good grafting job, not a, a pain in the ass, and the day would just fly, wouldn't it? Yep. So we've already got them in now, it's just the drop down to the switch. So simple. So I think that what we will do, because they're secured, we will take these together and then we will just curl them up, tape them there, curl them up and squish them to the ceiling and that should then allow the plasterers or the boarders, whoever they are, whoever they are and whatever right they here. do. Cut Celotex out. Yeah. <laughs> and just draw a black square there and saying, do not put Celotex here. But then that should be off our measurements and pictures and everything. Obviously, I've got reference for this video, which helps. But to work off, then that should be. To be fair, I'd probably need to tape on that. That's more than adequate for us. And then the distance will have a four inches, and then plasterboard, twelve more board on top, which is more than enough um, room for our downlights that we've got. Yep. So what Adam's doing now, which we're, we're trying to collect the, as much sawdust as possible, but. Try not to get He's on. keeping a big bucket Just below. Um, drop that one down a li little bit. Is that on the measurement that you made? Yeah. Oh, yeah, go and do it on the measurement. Well, it's going to angle up. Like, yeah. Go a little bit lower, but angle up. Yeah, it's the problem with these bigger drills. Yeah, yeah go a bit like Yes, it. You've like got the right angle. idea. Yeah. <laughs> so these are them Bosch bits that Adam and I keep buying. Adam and I, yes, that was so natural right, as well. Didn't buy. like I forced to do that whatsoever. I keep buying. So they are absolutely. This is a new bit we I bought for today. So we put a screw in there to get the laser on. Because sometimes you can't quite judge. Go on, mate. Do you. Straight through, nice. Some people only use it on speed one, speed two. I would recommend if you're drilling joist, thick old joist like we've done before, before your drill kicks back and breaks your wrist. Definitely use speed one. For these new soft beams, speed two is fine. So what we're running now, the fuse board, so the customer, the fuse board is going here because there's a desk going there. I'm gonna run the conduit straight up, across, straight to the switch. Go on. I'll be honest with you, most of that went on the floor. <laughs> it's only a little bit went in the bucket. Uh, and then it's gonna bring the power straight to the switch. We've already got the flexi conduit in for the load and two seconds and then from there we're just going to bring it straight across into the switch over there or just half it yeah yeah man so we've now got the supply in so that's straight up feed straight over to the switch i have drilled an outside light put some clips on there just to hold in place so that's through there so what we'll have is the down lights 
a feed, an outside light, and then we're going to have another feed going across to there. There in, I'm really happy with that. You lot might say it's overkill. We don't care, do we, Adam? No. Nope. We don't care. We're trying to do the job to the best of our ability, and you should all too, within reason. Adam's now, we've got the laser out. We've got a tripod, but we've just put it there. Lasering around. Adam's measuring the centre of the joists out. So, fuse board, double socket, a bank of four sockets with USBs. Coming across, there'll be one there. Sorry, one on that outside, one in the centre, one here. And then from that, I'm going to do a spur off that one across to there. And then spur, well, it's not a spur, then follow that one across, across to there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it's not that far. It's not... I was going to do this in two parts, but for, well, sorry, one big one, but this is probably not going to get plastered and skimmed and ready for a couple of weeks. And I'm too impatient with videos, I'd rather get them out sooner rather than later. We're on a roll, two a week, boom. At the moment, I've got them coming out on Tuesday at half six and Thursday at half six. Would you rather me do Tuesday and Friday to give a bit of a gap between them, or would you rather them Tuesday and Thursday as is? So, just let me know below. Superstar, here he is. What are you using there? I'll oh, show everyone the new tra uh, the, the tracers. We used these before, the old ones, but we got sent the newer ones, the newer and models. And you don't lose the sharpener now. Yeah, so yeah, I'll come over to the light here. So that's the, the double pen marker, which is ace. And obviously you've got your little holder in there. And then before, the old style of these, the, for the pencils, I'll try and do this one-handed. Oh, oh, come on. The pencils were in there, but the sharpener used to be on the end and it used to fall off. But now they've put the sharpener in here, so you can't lose it. And we use them all the time, literally for everything. So, uh, once <laughs> once again, I'll put a link down below so people don't message me saying, where would you get the pens from? Look below in the description, it'll all be there. We're going to run out of Flexicon do it, so I might send it to the shop just to do the lights that side. But yeah, happy with it all. Let me know as well how you lot would have done this. Would you have just gone sod it and just clipped T&E all around the outside and to the joist and then let Sentex sit on it. So I know I've done it before years ago in the past. Oh, sorry, I'm in the way of the laser. Years ago in the past. And it does happen, but we all learn and grow and that's the whole purpose of doing this and you guys watching the video. So I can learn from you, you can learn from me. Learn I can learn from, from Dave. Adam, I can learn from Adam, apparently. Adam, you've not asked me. What? You've not asked me. What? Look. Oh, get amongst it. Get amongst it. Nick, what's that in your t-shirt? Oh, Adam, this is a Rhino Trade Insurance, Bundy 10, yeah? Cheers, Adam, nice one. Best trade insurance we, going. Best in trade insurance going. That is, I keep saying this to people that Rhino Trade Insurance do, um, obviously, trade insurance, your public liability, uh, tool cover, all that sort of stuff, so do, fan, do check fun. it out. So we're done, we clip that down. Obviously there's a bank of four going here. Coming across, all of a sudden level. One there, what we're gonna do, I can't remember, I've already said this in a previous video. I'm not actually trying to poke Adam in the bum, the cable's going that way. So, good. Customer's just giving me some mozzie spray because I've just caught a mozzie chewing on my knee. And I managed to pop it as I caught him, brilliant. I smell, I smell like essential oils, Adam. It's probably playing a joke and it actually attracts them. I'm going to swell up like you did the other day when the wasp stung your face. Sweet, bro. Sweet, bro. Cool. Yeah, this bit's nearly done and we're going to jump across into that bit and then do some sweet, sweet measurements for where these are all going to go. And then put some tape on the ceiling around each one and write, do not sell a text here. Yeah. That's not good. Adam, I just need a wholesaler. Hello, who's called? You just need yeah, to put my wing mirror off. What's yeah. that all about? Anyway, Adam and I have just been wholesaled to get the um, contractor's pack. Cookies. Some cookies. And my van has just made the most horrendous sound. And just spoke to Adam's dad, he's a mechanic. And that's why Adam was listening to the noise to send him videos. Looks like my clutch is about to fall out of its <laughs> arse. So we were, we were talking about this the other day because I want to get a new van. I've been on about it for ages. I wanted to give Adam this van at some point in a year or two years, but I want to get a new van. I want one that doesn't do this and it has a nice screen. It has aircon and it has 
heated seats and yeah, just I'm mean, had the top spec. Five. Yeah, top spec. I've had this for five years. This is the most, most bottom spec transit there is. And uh yeah, it's it's done its time. It's a cat D because some prick drove into the side of me after having it for a week. So it's not worth anything anyway. It's got 168,000 miles on the clock, but it's had a new engine because there was a recall on the oil pump and the engine blew up, so the Ford fixed it for free. But the clutch has never been changed or stuff like that. So if any of you lot lease a van, I think leasing's the next way forward for me. And maybe you, if we actually get rid of this and get you leased one in a couple of years or something. That's if you stay with me, unless you leave me. Bye. <laughs> no. no. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any leasing companies that they, they, they recommend or if there's any leasing companies watching, I'll happily, happily read your name out in every video if you want to give me one for free. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually get at them. Yeah. So yeah, let me know below. Any 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 guys that you can recommend. There's one company that I spoke to which are a smart used for leasing vans. I can't remember the name. I've already spoke to them. They're a good company, a good price. But if you'd like to know, I want top spec transit custom really. So yeah, let's go back inside. Right, so back inside, we spoke to the customer and that side actually isn't getting boarded. He thought it was, it's not. Uh, this is Ian. <laughs> so we're now putting 2D fittings up there and there at some point. We're still gonna run the flexi across on the inside, so that will all be exposed. Adam's just now doing the last socket up to there. And I, <laughs> you had to do it again, didn't you? Yeah, always. I have cut this board to fit flush so they can board, pass the board on top so we've got a good fixing for the uh, fuse board. What I've done, i put glands on that so we will, I've done 32 mil holes in the wood so I can actually gland this into the back of the board itself. The armour cable is also going in so I actually nipped home, I had a spare off cut. So what I'm going to try and plan in advance, this is going to be one well, the board here but if we look on the outside Obviously the armoured's here that we're going to tap off. I don't really want to be bringing the armoured and tracing it across a brand new cladded uh, wood wall. So I'm going to run the armoured low level on the inside and poke it out down here. Because obviously this is all coming down. And I can do the joint down. Well the joint would be in the floor. But I'll have enough excess to bring it over and clip it. And make it nice and neat. So fingers crossed. I'm going to stick a storm gland on. Which we've got here. So if I gland this up now, this end, leave it there, there's enough clearance behind there to gland it into the back of the board, push that back on. That's then gonna connect the earth to the board and the armoured itself, because I don't think it's done the other end. I can bring it up lower level, drill it out. Uh, I've spoke to the plasterer, Ian's doing the plastering. I'm gonna take these ends up, put a bag on them, keep them neat. I said to him you can make a bit of a mess here with the plastering, because the board's gonna cover it all anyway. And then it should be nice and neat. You good job. You good job. <laughs> good job. We've hoovered, we've labelled everything, all measurements, all written down for light, socket height, because obviously it's different in the shed bit. Happy with all that. We've got pictures. Armoured is now running. That comes up. It's got its gland on. We've stripped it back. That's all ready. So they've also got the glands on. So they're big enough. So when the board goes on, I can cut them out the back, gland them. Push them back a bit, be flush to there. That's cool, bagged it up, ready for plaster. They're all up, happy with everything. That's all glanded, ready for the 2D fittings. They're just gonna gland it to the top of it as well. Uh, measurements, the boards are just going on now, so they're being pushed back, and then we'll just cut our patrices out afterwards. Same thing with here. Yeah, that's pretty much it, we're happy with it. I'll take you into the garage now and just show you the supply of what we're gonna be dealing with that end. Right, we're just in the garage now. I saw that on the way and that's not actually connected. I think that's the voltage RCD type, is it? Yeah, the old school type. Uh, PME system. Well, it's... Kind of. <laughs> it looks like a TNS, uh, TNS system. Anyway, we saw that when it comes to it. So that's our armour that comes up around that way through into that box. So the only thing I'm going to do here is... Well, if that's double insulated, I need to double check this. I love the board off, obviously. Someone shows the board over in the past 20 years. You can tack them one, no RCD protection, but that doesn't bother me because this is just a feed cable supplying the shed. 
the water proof joint will go in and then we'll put RCD protection on the far side. I don't, there's no point in doing a um, RCBO board for the two when I'm just gonna put a main switch RCD in it and cover it that way. But it's got main water gas, main water gas, <sighs> bonding to gas, bonding to water. So it's got everything that we need. It's just uh, making sure we can get a nice joint and that's it. Right, I don't know how long, how long do you think this one is? I'm going 24 minutes. I'm going 28 and a half. 28 and a half? Yeah, I'm always half. right, so. Yeah, you were on the last one. Um, I will do a second follow-up video on this. It's been an enjoyable job, I enjoyed it. He's enjoyed it, it's a fairly early finish. Just gonna go and cry in the corner because my van's broken. Um, oh, there we go. Um, I remember Expert Electrical, 10%, Bundy 10, and all that jazz. Rhino trade. I know, that's what I said. I haven't got mine on. I'm repping. Get amongst it. Uh, what else was I going to say? What jobs have we got? i got rewire coming up. I'm not filming that. And Another then we've got, we got a wicked, wicked summer house that we're doing soon. And there's a surprise for everyone as well. So uh, you have to wait and see. Right, catch you to it. Bye. Bye. Poor effort <laughs> again. <laughs>